Hey, what's going on? This is Matt. I um, want to show you a new video today where I am using custom VST chains inside of Machine 1.6. So now that you can load plugins, uh, the, one of my favorite parts about Machine now is that I can create a custom instrument, you know, having like an instrument with other VST effects on it or something and save it as a preset that uh, very quickly, easily save it and recall it anytime, tag it however you need. So when I want to find my custom bass sound, I can easily recall it from Machines Browser. So check it out. hope it helps. All right, so I have a blank uh, machine template set up here, and we are going to show you how to load a chain. One of my favorite things is creating new sounds, obviously using a source and then multiple plugins, um, and then being able to recall these and save these so I can recall them at any time. So on the first one, we're going to load up, um, again, from the controller. I can just go to the module section, module one, and I hit shift browse, and I can actually search for my plugins. So we're going to go find a plugin. I'm going to go find reactor. So one of the great things about this is, here's a little trick, if you... Um, hit the tab at the top, the button at the top, you'll be able to actually select the window screen. <laughs> I've always wanted to do this in, in hosts and this is like the quickest, easiest way now. So we're gonna pull up Junatic. Probably the most underrated of uh, reactor instruments, my favorite. Uh, I'm gonna find like a cool bass sound here. So we're gonna grab this 80s touch. And that works. So, what we're going to do is I'll move this guy down and we're just going to go browse for another plugin. I'm going to pull up this uh, Waves API, which is just great. And then we'll go in and access that again from the hardware controller. Uh, there's preset here, base one, so I'll play it before. And then I'll put this one on. Just gives it some definite punch. And of course I can uh I can go ahead and actually change the let's give it a little more bass. Um very nice and heavy. Okay. And module three, I'm going to load in another plugin. Again, shift, browse, and I can go through. I'm actually going to use another Waves plugin. This one is the hybrid delay, which is just great. <laughs> I kind of like it all. And I'm going to load in this preset called Sweet 16, which gives it like a total disco bass. Perfect. So this is kind of how I want to record. Um, let's go to group B first and let's just find a sound. I'm going to browse for a sample, my favorite samples. Let's just get an 8 away kick to keep time. Load him in. Let's go uh, step sequence this in. Let's just get a floor on the floor. Just a little loud. Let's shortcut turn down. Put my tempo blue. So I can start recording basically at any time. Let's uh, just close all these. Again, from the controller, I, I goofed up a little bit there. Where's my piano roll? Let's delete this guy. There we go. So now, one of the greatest things is I want to use this bass line later, right? So what I can do is actually go into this sound and let's go in and uh, save this. Oops. So if I right click, I can save the sound wherever my sounds are. I'm going to call this uh, Disco Synth Bass. 
now from uh, here we can recall this Oops, that's because it's a sound here. Sorry. This goes synth bass. Now what I'm going to do is actually go in and edit this. So I've actually created a custom tag, mats, uh, and it's an instrument. And what else is it? So let's find type bass. And then we can go in here and synthetic... You know, and I could add more tags if I want, but that's that's plenty for me right now. And uh, done editing that. So now from the machine controller, I can actually go in and search my sounds, find my favorites, mats, and here is Disco Synth Bass, as you can see. Uh, quick and easy. If I want, I can load in, again, anything else. So uh, let's load this Dr. Dre lead I did. You know, just a uh, custom mass of preset I made. Otherwise, uh, on the next one, maybe let's load this great uh, chain here. Huge sound uh, again. And so we can go to the modules and just open these up. Uh, this is just a massive pad with... Uh, Waves EQ, Vintage EQ, and the CLA. So, uh, and again, all this can be controlled instantly from the controller. So, just play along with it. <laughs> so you know, whatever. Uh, and again, you can see how quickly and easily these actually all recall um, and so you can create all your own custom lists save them all there and uh, have them ready to go at any time so hope that helped uh, it's been a huge help for me every time I create a sound now I can save it and instantly recall it inside machine so uh, thanks for watching stay tuned for more peace